this guitar because I'll be going on holiday for a few weeks and I wanted to bring a guitar that I could take on an aeroplane and uh, and use use abroad. The guitar it's quite light. Um, it comes with acoustic type strings and the action's quite high. So um, really the first thing I want to do is take out the the saddle and oh, I bought another saddle here which I'm going to fit and hopefully take down the action. Now the uh, the action on the guitar is it's currently it's about two millimeters on the high E string and about three millimeters on the low E string. So it's not too bad. I mean, that'd be pretty good for an acoustic, but as an electric, I really want to bring this down um, a bit more. I'll also take these strings off and replace them with electric strings. Um, the guitar itself, the form factor is pretty good. Um, in its case, it comes with a case and, and other accessories will fit in an overhead locker. So it can be brought on the plane as uh, your hand luggage. Um, so, well, let's get to it. Okay, the first thing we have to do is remove the old saddle by loosening off the strings with the hex adjuster. I won't completely remove the strings yet because we will need to repeatedly check the height and fit of the saddle as we file it down. To remove the saddle, simply pull each string to the side and pull the saddle up and off. The reason I'm replacing the saddle and not just sanding down the old saddle is because if I make a mistake I can simply buy another saddle and start again. I'm not a guitar technician but I think this job is fairly easy to do by most people. First thing we need to do is measure the height in both saddles and file the new saddle to be the same height and width as the original. I applied some masking tape to the new saddle and marked on a line for sanding. Use some sandpaper and a block to sand down the new saddle. Check the fit as you go by reinserting into the guitar bridge. You can also cut the slots now for the strings and fit the saddle and check the action. Now that you have an identical saddle, you can mark a new line on the saddle for the required action and sand it down. I sanded my saddle down to give an action of 1.75mm on the low E string and 1.25mm on the high E string. Here's the guitar. It's now been strung up and it's got the new saddle on it, of course, as well. Uh, I'm now just going to play you uh, part of a little jazz song so you can uh, hear the guitar. <laughs> 